Hello guys, Tav HD here, and today we are going to be unboxing and setting up the Talk Talk Wi-Fi Hub. Let's just unbox it so it says start here on it and there's a little pull tab here. So let's open that. And then the whole top lifts up and there are all the instructions on how to set it up and the contents in the box as well. That's just a delivery note that's not needed. Then we have a setup guide which we aren't going to look at today because it will probably be quite straightforward. Let's put that to the side and we can lift up this. Thank you for choosing Talk Talk Broadband OK. And then in here is all the things that we will be needing. So let's take out the router itself. It is quite large and heavy compared to the old one that I already have. Let's just put that to the side. We've got some safety instructions which we aren't going to be needing. We are going to need the power cable out of here and the UK plug. So we'll need that. And what else is in here? We have an ethernet cable. This looks like quite a good quality one actually, but I don't think we're going to be using that. And also we do not need these micro filters as I have the Mark IV BT Master socket. So these aren't going to be necessary. So let's put those back in the box. We're not going to need those. Then let's take a look at the router itself. Right, so it comes in this plastic bag, but we can take it out of there. And as you can see, it has a kind of orange coppery look to it. Then down here is going to be the light telling us that everything's working just fine. Talk Talk logo on it there. Then on the back it has the password, but I'll probably change that anyway. Power button, power, WAN, Ethernet, broadband in. And then it has a stand as well, so it can stand up just like that. It actually doesn't look that bad. Another thing to say, on this micro filter, we're going to need this DSL cable out of it. So we're going to take that down to the master socket when we set it up. Okay, so now we're at the master socket, we can plug this DSL cable into the port which says to plug it into the router. So once we plug that into the master socket, the other end can go into the grey port on the back of the router marked broadband. And while we're here, we might as well plug in the power cable as well. Now we've done that, we can press the power button and this orange light will start to flash. Now once the router has made a connection, the light will go solid white and stop flashing. Then we can go in and connect to it on our device. Thank you for watching this quick little video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.